Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 8th of 2023 well, it is titled Plain, Clouds, Moon, Spots, Sun. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a whole bunch of things in the same direction in the sky. And those are a number of different objects at varying distances. And together between the two of these is giving us a solar eclipse. So while it may look like a crescent moon here, it really is not. That actually is the sun. The moon is the black circle to the upper right that is blocking out a portion of the solar disk during a solar eclipse. Now, what is the closest object to us? Well, that would be the airplane that you see in the front, just a little below the center of the sun there. Timing that to get the airplane flying directly in, in the sun is something very difficult. You have to be in the right location because even changing the position, uh, your position slightly would make a plane fly too high or too low above and pass above or below the sun. Now next we see clouds in front of the sun. So while it may look like one of the banded outer planets such as Jupiter, that is really our own again our own sun with bands of clouds that are in our atmosphere in front of it. And as we continue, then we have the moon, that dark blotch of the moon blocking out the sun. The phase of the moon is what we would call new moon. And that is when the fully illuminated side of the moon faces away from Earth. And we are seeing the unilluminated side pointing toward us. And that means we cannot really see any poor anything on the moon at this point. Now furthest out would be the sunspots which are on the sun itself. Sunspots are darker regions on the surface of the sun where it is a little bit cooler and those are where strong magnetic fields break through the sun's surface surface and inhibit the flow of energy from below and that cools those regions off. Now they are not cold by any sense. They are still three or four thousand Kelvin. They are much hotter than anything we are used to here. However, they look dark because they are emitting less energy and are cooler than the rest of the surface of the sun, which is closer to six thousand Kelvin. So we're seeing again, we're seeing just the difference in temperature there. If you could somehow scoop out that sunspot material and put it out in space, it would look a reddish orange color because it is still very hot. It is just much cooler than the rest of the solar surface and therefore emitting far less energy. Now this eclipse that we see, um, was from 2014. So this is an eclipse from nine years ago. However, there is another eclipse coming up in just a week here. And in fact, next Saturday, there will be another eclipse. That will be what we call an annular eclipse from some parts of North and South America. If you're on the path of maximum eclipse, you will see most of the sun blocked out. And in fact, the moon will be directly in front of the sun, but not quite large enough to block out the entirety of the sun. So elsewhere in North and South America, you will see either no eclipse at all if you're too far away from the path or a partial eclipse such as the one imaged here. Although depending on your specific location, you will not see the clouds or likely the airplane. So that was our picture of the day for October 8th of 2023. It was titled Plain, Clouds, Moon, Spots, Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Strange Sunrise Eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.